Hi everyone, my name is Tori Borelli and I'm going to be taking over Branch Basics today. I'm an integrative holistic nutritionist and chef and author of the Mexican Keto Cookbook and we are going to be talking about tossing the toxins. So I want to cover a couple things that are very, very important and crucial to reducing the toxic load in your home and in your body. The first thing would be quality of ingredients. So everything from what we put into our mouth to what we put on our skin. Remember, skin is our largest organ. It is important as well. And so quality, what does that mean? So for a protein, for example, animal protein, dairy, things like that, we really want to make sure that it's organic, pasture-raised, grass-fed. Those are the labels you really want to look for. Then looking at fats, high quality fats, avocados, coconut oil, high heat fats. So ones that you're going to take to temperature, such as avocado oil. I use that a ton in my cookbook. Um, very, very important because if you're heating something too high of heat, it's going to actually become oxidized and create oxidation in the body, which creates inflammation. So We've got quality. Our next one is cookware. This is something if you're bringing home an organic grass-fed piece of beef and you're going to cook it on your Teflon nonstick pan, that's not that's not good. So you're kind of defeating the purpose. Nonstick Teflon, any of those um, man. So when I say man-made. Just things that like aluminum, for example, aluminum has been shown to create cognitive issues leading to things like Alzheimer's, things we want to really stay away from. Aluminum is in so many more things than we know. Baking soda, uh, antiperspirant, so deodorants. So if you have these kinds of things and look at your pots and pans, if they have scratches on them, that means that you're probably absorbing those toxins into your food. So again, um, cast iron, stainless steel, glass, ceramic, those are really good choices. Just make sure that you stay away from these um, synthetic materials. All right, so from there, I want to talk a little bit about just toxins in the home. So one thing that I tell all my clients is take your shoes off at the door. That will help with tracking through things like glyphosate, which people spray Roundup on their front lawns, and then you're walking on lawn or you're in a public place, and then you track that through your house, and then you're laying on your couch or, you know, your kids are laying on the, on the rug, and then they're absorbing that through their skin. Um, also everything that we put on our skin from lotions to hair products, all those types of things all get into our system. So start reading labels. Same with food. Even if something says it's healthy, you need to read the labels. I'm always reading labels. And sometimes these new companies will start to stick in things like sugar or preventive living is where it's at, right? We want, don't want to wait until we're sick until we make changes. So a couple swaps really quick. That will really, really help you in your kitchen are changing healthy fats to mm -hmm. fats like avocado oil. For most people are cooking with commercial um, oils such as canola oil or vegetable oil, which is very, very inflammatory. So when you're using high heat, we're going to use avocado oil or coconut spray, which I love. Same with sugars. If it's incredibly important to create goals for yourself that are attainable and that are easily implemented into your daily life. I've created my Mexican Keto cookbook just for that, for you to have preventative living tools that taste delicious and that are easy to cook. I actually am sharing my turmeric, cauliflower, and broccoli recipe with Branch Basics so you can find it on their blog. And also my Mexican Keto cookbook is on sale on Amazon right now. And I hope you love it. And I hope that that 2020 is your best year yet, your healthiest year yet, and that you create healthy, nutrient-dense recipes in the kitchen. Enjoy!